Hi there, this is Derek with The Closet Doctor. I'm doing a quick little video here to show how, uh, how long it takes us to go once we've got a design in our Cabinet Vision design software to output that to the machine. So this is a job that we've got here that's already been designed and previewed. And so now we're going to go ahead and send that out to our machine. So the first thing we do, first click, is we click on the S2M Center in Cabinet Vision. Uh, I'm doing this on my laptop. I normally have a dedicated machine at the office that handles all the production. And so some of the things, uh, features aren't quite up to date as they should be on there. Uh, this, we're running an older version, uh, a couple of versions back on there. Uh, so now we've got everything. This is all of the parts for the job on there. Uh, we've got a couple of different materials in there. The summer flame is our sh uh, sheet stock, our, our flat panels that we're going to run. The D summer flame, that's actually for uh, as a material for an outsourced uh, foil door. But we're going to go ahead and when we optimize this, it's going to optimize all of our three quarter inch summer flame on there. Um, we have the option over here on the left. We could, if we wanted to do just a single cabinet, that we could filter out the parts by uh, assemblies or by materials or actually individual types of parts, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and do the whole job. And so we're going to click on optimize over here. So I think we're on our second or third click. We're going to click run down here. It's going to give us a run number that's on there. Uh, it regenerates that run and overwrites the code uh, on ours. It's about every 75. Uh, we can, it can be up to 99 runs. We've got it 75 and 25. I can send 25 from this machine before it starts overwriting itself. Uh, like I said, this is on my laptop that I normally design with with a customer. And so uh, it's not optimized for this type of work. It takes a little bit longer than our, our one in the office. So it's going through and it's creating all the solutions to optimize this onto the sheets. And takes just a second here. And then it's going to go, go ahead and give us a complete sheet view of everything that is on there. Some of the things that we have set up in the background on this uh, that you'll, you'll see in here, we try to put everything onto the machine, everything we can on the CNC. Okay, so it has gone ahead and optimize everything. We're going to need eight sheets. We got about 87% uh, use there. We'll go ahead and take a look at those as soon as it gets rolling. Uh, we try to put everything we can onto the, the machine so that we don't have uh, no secondary operations. So we're going to click on our sheets over here. This is our first sheet of material. Uh, these are all bed, uh, our wall bed parts. These are drawer bed parts. Um, drawer box parts or no excuse me those are all top stretchers and some backs and bottoms on there and we'll go through there so in the production process we go through and just take a look at this and make sure everything's on there the in here these squares in here are cable access routes for the sides of our cabinets that tie into our wall bed we also have a route out uh, in this particular job it's going over the carpet and we're not taking the baseboard out and so all of those machining processes are in there the top corner of our cabinet has a wire access route and the sub fronts on our drawer boxes up here uh, also are already drilled for hardware and assembly screws so we've put all kinds of things on there let's go through this and look at all of these sheets real quick um, everything's on here, drawer guide mounting positions, drawer stretcher, uh, dados in there, adjustable shelves are cut out. So you'll see that there's a lot of additional machining that is on here uh, that we've put in here. And here's our last sheet. You can see that we've got a little bit of waste. Uh, if we choose to, we can move this around a little bit to try to maybe get a better piece um, for our for using as you know as on another job at another time uh, on there move this over this particular one it's not going to give us anything that's really that much more usable so we've got eight sheets there we've used you know as, as well as we can uh, on there this looks good to go so the next uh, major click here is we click NC code and labels and it's going to go ahead and create I'm going to turn the label it off just uh, on there but it's going to send stuff out to our machine and we're going to go ahead and click run it's going to start our output uh, process here. So the one that I didn't show you, I'll come back and show you here at the end, is the uh, we do have some parts there that are uh, machined on both sides, and ours is set up with six-sided machining. And so we could come over here and push this button here when it's done. Actually, that's it right there. 
and it will flip the we will actually flip the sheet on the CNC drill the, the parts uh, We'll drill the secondary side and then flip it over and then uh, do the primary side and cut the parts out uh, on there. So now it's created all the code. It's finishing up the last couple of sheets here. And there we go. We always get this error at the end. I don't know why, but we hit retry. We enter the work, to, uh, work list name. So in this one, this is going to be our YouTube. Uh, YouTube test and we click OK and we click close and click OK and we're done uh, is what we've got on our desktop I don't have it on this one but we've got a little move um, data code we click that and it'll actually move and when we double click that it'll take that file and move it to the machine in the shop and put the data and delete it off of this machine so that your code goes right into the work list. The guy on the on the machine out there opens that up, um, and it's ready to go. So that's about how long it takes. Uh, that's about we're we're six minutes into this. This is uh, the second side on there, so you can it'll machine. We actually machine both sides of the thing. So that's how fast from going from a finished design to production out there on a faster computer. Naturally, it'll go a little quicker, but we're about six minutes and about ten clicks on there. There you go.